Hey guys, it's William here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to dominate Google. And on top of how to dominate Google, when you do that, you're going to dominate your competition. And when you do that, you know what that means? You're going to cause the phone to ring. You're going to cause the bank to fill up on your end and on your customers end. Both ends are happy and therefore we get more customers and they get more customers and vice versa. You see how that kind of works. Show me the money! So we're going to be talking about dominating. You know, most, if you will, SEOs, for whatever godforsaken reason, they don't think they need to do pay-per-click, which is going to be this little area right here. Right? They don't think they need to be doing pay-per-click. I don't know why, but... They all think they should be doing pay-per-click. It's a big, if you will, SEO myth. SEOs will tell you, well, if you're doing SEO, you don't need to do pay-per-click. It's a bunch of hogwash, okay? What a load of crap! Let's go down here. Then you got the Google 3-pack. What's the 3-pack? 3-pack is this nice little area right here, okay? Pretty simple. Then the last area, we got a couple more areas. We got organic. Okay, I'm super baked. Organic is going to be all of this section, if you will, right here. Right? It's going to be that entire section. Now, inside of this entire section is your organic, which is still important. But most SEOs, especially local, only concentrate in the Google 3 bag. Yeah, that sounds bad. You need to be concentrating on the Google 3 pack. You need to be concentrating on this area. And sometimes in the SERPs, you're also going to see videos that will pop up, like this video right here. So you need to be doing video SEO or YouTube SEO, organic SEO, and local SEO. Ah, that's pretty interesting. We're going to deal in this video specifically on local SEO and finding keywords that we can easily steal traffic from our competition. I'll be taking that. Let's say, for example, Google's telling me, okay, when people are searching, they'll also say people also ask up here, or let's say emergency plumber Orlando. Then they give you these other related searches, best Orlando plumbers, right? <sighs> yes. So all of these are relative search terms that people are looking for. Because Google is going to give you the data on a silver platter. You just have to know how to use it. Now, how do I use this information? What are we doing? So let's say, let's just grab, if you will, licensed plumbers near me and add Orlando. Right? You're going to see it's going to look like 8.2 million searches, right? Or results. I see. But what we want to do is we want to use this little thing. It's called all in title, all in title. And I have another video on this. this is what we're going to be doing is called keyword golden ratio. You have to see it for yourself. You're going to do all in title, semicolon, quote, keyword, quote. And what this is now going to do is it's going to come back with just the results that are optimized with the title. Now the title that we're referring to is right here. That's the title, okay? Very interesting. So out of all those eight something million SERPs results, only one of them are actually, if you will, optimized for licensed plumber near me, Orlando. Another thing you can do besides all in title, you can also do all in URL. All in URL, right, is basically the same thing except it's the URL structure. Are you kidding me? All in URL. The URL being the domain name forward slash the URL. Like this one right here, if we were to click on this actual URL, it is the domain name for slash licensed plumbers in Orlando, Florida, blah, blah, blah. Right? That is another hack. So, because a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll come in here, well, I just want to be ranked for plumber Orlando. And let's just show you what your competition is going to be 
um, like that. If you go after, let's say, Plumbers Orlando, over 3,800 results for the in URL. OMG! Now, if we do all in title, still almost 4,000. It means it's very difficult, going to take months to rank for it. We don't want to go after that. We want to go after when we were onboarding a client, some very fast, if you will, low hanging fruit that we can get some rankings for, for these clients so they're happy. <laughs> so for example, emergency plumber, Orlando plumber free estimate. I wonder who's actually, if anybody's optimized for that. All in title, semicolon, quote, quote, you got six, which means it's easy to get ranked for. So I can easily get in the organic section for that. Let's rumble! Another way in which we do this is most websites have what we call a site map. If I was to click on this website, generally the site map is going to be at the very bottom of the site, right? Let's look, see if they have one. Well, what do you know? They have. So if they didn't, you would just hit forward slash at the end of the URL, right? Forward slash sitemap.xml or .html, depending on if they're using an HTML sitemap or an H, you know, or a XML sitemap, because there's two different versions. One's friendly for the web, one's not. Write it down and keep it for future reference. Then I'm gonna take that set information, download it into an Excel file, and by doing so, I can look at all their keywords. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the site map. So we take the site map, right? And we can go in here, and if you will, we can see all the different keywords you're going after, right? So let's just take, for example, they're going after faucet installation, they're going after shower installation, bathtub repair, right? Sewers, all these different keywords, if you will, right? And we can go in here and go Google. Let's just do this real quick. We're going to do it on the fly. All in title, right? And let's go faucet installation Orlando. And see how many results we get. No one's competing for it. Just two people. Easily dominate page one. Get riggedy, riggedy, wrecked, Let's go heater installation. I know that one's usually more competitive. see here and look for that and it's 21 results obviously more you know competitive um, let's look at another one repiping that's another service for if you will usually plumbers and there's only six results so I know okay this site is optimized for all these type all these different terms like water line repair let's go after that one water line repair all right so there's only three results in that let's say commercial just out of curiosity commercial plumber orlando and we got eight results so here's what we can now do with this information let's say we wanted to go after commercial repair jobs we could take that term we could get a GMB optimized for that specific term. And when I do that and I put that in my title, your title being right here, these are all titles. And a lot of people will say, well, your business name has to actually be in your title, technically. But there is some black hat methods in which we use. You can produce DBAs and you can produce receipts if you ever got suspended or if you ever had to produce information um, saying that your name was, if you will, Commercial Plumber Orlando for informational purposes only, of course. Damn, are you the feds? You no. call them? But that would help you dominate the Google 3-pack, all right? So now we dominate the Google 3-pack. We've changed it to Commercial Plumber Orlando. We're dominating here. We know there's very little competition for it in the URL structure. Um, so we can get it dominating in here. Bow to me!
And then the next step in another video I'm doing later this week, I'm going to show you how to get an instant within five minutes or less, get a video in the video carousel. And so now you're dominating, if you will, the Google pack, and the three pack, you're, Google, you're dominating the organic and we're dominating YouTube as well. So I hope you learned this, something today. Um, we do have tools that we use such as keyword supremacy. I have another video. Go watch that if you want to learn how I use that and do it automatically and on automation. But this video was to show you how to dominate Google, you know, doing it manually. I hope you like this video. Make sure to smash that like button if you like this video. And also, go and watch the other video I did on keyword supremacy for some more keyword hacks. But you always want to pay attention. Google's telling y'all, you know, what someone's looking for anytime we enter in a term. So when we look, enter in a term, I'm just going to give you a couple more tips, if you will, like for commercial plumber is your related keyword searches, right? And then any of the Q&As that they have, like commercial plumber costs let's just type in costs right and you see right here these people also ask you can use this information if you will to produce more content right we can use it to produce more content and more URLs and more pages, right? We could take, if you keep clicking this, it'll just pull all of it. And I can literally take all this information, now create pages based on that information. Create titles and URLs and internal structure based on that information. And as a result, get them ranked and get them ranked fast in less than a month, sometimes less than a week. I hope you like this. Make sure to smash that like button. My name is William. I've got 20 years of SEO experience. I hope you like this. Make sure to turn on that bell notification. Until next time, you guys be blessed and have a great day. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Cat. I was a nobody, now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by my.